<laughs> so this recovery that we're going to show you is a crash Dodge TRX. I was contacted by the sheriff's department about recovering it. I was given the insurance agent's name. I contacted the insurance agent, said we would go out and look at the job, checked it out. We talked to BLM, which is Bureau of Land Management. We checked with them to see where or what property it was on and if we could cross it. They said their land was up there, but it was also where the truck actually landed was on Sitla land. So we contacted Sitla, had to do jump through all the same hoops, do all that stuff, everything. After getting all that done, I was then contacted by the insurance agent and asked if I could give a bid because someone else had put a lower bid in. It was a different YouTuber. They, I guess they do recoveries is what you want to call it. I do not condone to their type of recoveries for the way they act and the way they treat the land and the way they treat everything involving the situation. That's just my opinion. However, I've seen some of the recoveries they've done where they've damaged a lot of stuff and a lot of the land and therefore my mouth and my attitude got the best of me and I said I would do it cheaper, meaning I would do it for free. So this recovery I did do for free which we don't do that. We do not do recoveries for free for YouTube. This is our job. We do recoveries because this is our job. We also film it because we like to show off what we do. I got the short end of that stick because I didn't want the other one here doing any damage, especially with our, the land closures here recently. With that type of land closure and chaos going on and the argument with that, we can't have somebody here being ridiculous doing a job, if that makes sense. I had to jump through all these hoops and then we had to do all that stuff as we did it and get verification from all these parties. So other people don't do that a lot. And that is also what hampers with progressing forward and working with the BLM to keep access open. Something to think about, but anyway, I just figured I'd mention that because I did have quite a bit of an attitude and I was kind of a little mouthy during this recovery and I apologize for that. Something going on with the Ford, I think. So we are leaving this truck behind. here on her up pass on the back side this is overlooking the potash plant aka the dolphin detention center um so you got this narrow road right here the gentleman came around he seen some traffic coming so he backed up and backing up over to here especially at certain times of the day when the sun's shining on you he backed off of right here his tire dipped over and away he went and there's the truck. See the, the rock, the side of the truck hit right there. And then went down. We're not bringing this up the way it came. Yeah. We have many concerns for that, mostly the traffic. We would be right here blocking traffic or impeding it. And then people are gonna wanna watch what we're doing and they're gonna get out and they're gonna be standing here gawking over the side of the hill and somebody's gonna fall just inevitably. Um, we have to get permission to cross their land, to go onto their land going off trail to get this vehicle. These are the steps that we take to go, to make sure that we're not just going out and being gung-ho, woo-hoo, let's go do this, let's get all the clicks on YouTube. Um, and yes, I'm kind of being a little bit of a, how should I put that? I have an attitude towards some people on YouTube that sensationalize everything and showcase things like this where people got injured or even dead. Luckily, the, the, the gentleman and his dog both survived. Serious injuries, but not life-threatening or life-altering, so they're okay, which 
shows a good testament to newer vehicles and the safety features of them. That's pretty awesome. To drop that far and walk away from it, even assisted, is pretty awesome. But um, somebody tried to come in and do this job out from under us. We can't have jack wagons coming down here and using their big giant truck and trashing everything and ripping the side out of a cliff on the right here. You can't come out here and do stuff like this just to get big on YouTube. Like this is what we do and this is what we did before we did YouTube. Anyway, we're gonna go down there. We have an old access road that we're gonna use to get down to the wash that ties into this. We brought our rigs. Um, we've got the buggy and the wrecker. They're gonna go in and do some pretty hard work today. We tried to bring um, Big D, but it is such a disappointment. This feels weird. Well, so this is an old access road. You see it right here. You can see a tiny bit of track there. Yeah. That's the only reason we're on it or allowed to do this. Almost there. There it is. Wheel and stop, nobody will ever get to wheel. Never. I'll first one off trail. Oh what? Look at this. Huh. It's still got the still got the sticker. Are you ready? Yep. Total price, $96,185. Just a cheap thing. Yeah, I said it was going to be on my truck. Oh. Oh. All right. So the truck's down there. And there are parts and pieces all the way down. There's Sean. He's over there. Hi. Hey. All right. Buggy over here. I'm going to pull you here, pull you there, back to the truck. 
shuffle it over. Right, Mike? Uh, this isn't going to work if you're not down here to tell me I'm rigging it wrong. Hey, you're doing it wrong. Okay, thank you. We can twist it and hopefully keep it on this ledge. And we're literally going to yeet it over all these rocks. <laughs> it's just going to... Yeah, it's just going to go. Get over here and judge my rigging right now. So, buggy, pulley, another pulley, and back. We're redirecting off of the one in the tire. And we'll pull it back and pull the bumper into that rock and twist it around, leaving it up here. Get my head. Strong I am, Mike. Right? Buggy up this hill. Oh my god. Can we please use the little arch? We're not gonna use it. We don't want to wreck the rocks, but I think it's hilarious. Oh, as a tie-off point? Yeah, like how awesome would this be? But these rocks are pretty soft and I don't know how much it would hold, and we don't want to wreck stuff like that. We can get that front end to right here, we're home free to just yeet it off. <laughs> so controlled. Very controlled yeeting. about to get into some really big rocks here more yeah, this way more that way yeah If the cooler doesn't hit the windshield, you're not doing it right, I'm telling you. It, it budged. About three inches. It moved about three inches. that big rock right there that's some pretty good progress yeah could we get even shorter probably help it with the up factor yeah picking it up i bet we could you think you want yeah we're yeah. we're over the hard part now i think <laughs> all right so we have shortened our straps quite significantly to Hopefully elevate the situation. I watch those 10 footers turn into about 15 footers too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we 
You might need to reevaluate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got it. All right. Here, you're gonna get this rock out of the way. Yeah. There, all better. Yeah. <laughs> that rock's moving, isn't it? Um, this you one? know, not really, not yet. Okay, that was all I needed to hear. One <laughs> <laughs> more. It was up there, it was on the rock, and then it rolled back. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as we hook onto that A-arm again. Yeah, get it as close as... Come to the top. See this right here, Mike? Oh, I know what's wrong with it. Yeah, belt came loose. Belt's loose, yeah. So, I don't think that would work. Tow truck is right there. The way we came up is right through here, past all these rock pecker nests. This is the way we're going to have to go. Right down this. Winch in.
It's gonna hang in there, Mike. Dude, I don't know how. I mean, it's not quite the, the high quality machinery that Ford makes, you know. You know, the one that didn't even show up to work today. <laughs> the old part timer down there. Right. We got old slams the door back here. Oh, yeah. I guess I'll drive this one now. Perfect. Okay, that's good there. Badlands off-road jack. 
three ton. We're off road. Yeah. Got tires that spin off road. Wow. Look at that. Dude, that is something. Yeah. Arr, 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 arr. Out. Being like trail mater, just what? Yeah, what? dude. Get you one. Harbor Freight. They got them. Yeah. All right, Sean. Oh. <laughs> Can you cut it now? Hang on, let me cover my neck. What am I cutting? The spring? Well, cut the cable. One way to do it. We have a four pounder. Oh, there it is. We got it. Nice. Got it? Yeah. Welcome to Moab. Okay, we got two tires rolling now. Sweet. Front tires right about to be on it.
back on the road again. That's why I think if we just kick the tracks out up to right there, they're never gonna know. The no vehicle sign are almost a magnet. Yeah, like, what do you people... mean no vehicles? Do they close the route over here? Well, there's the ramp. Yeah, it's out. We're, we're on the dirt road, headed back to the parking lot. And just slowly work our way that way. Hopefully it all stays together and make it there in one piece. was a workout but like I said um, unfortunately Big D was a huge disappointment today I was really hoping to have that I wanted to have all the equipment and the ability to haul it out and keep the front end down we didn't really have that option but uh, we made it work like always um, like I said it wasn't pretty but it was the best thing that we could do and it was uh, within parameters of what we talked with Sitla and BLM about doing coming down the wash so anything we disturbed was in the wash so after runoff this year you won't even notice it so i'm pretty mentally drained so yeah no it went yeah as best as possible yeah so there it is it's out like always thank you guys for watching buggy up this hill Yeah, yeah, wow. oh, good one. My belly power. Look at the foot, Mikey. The record across there. That rock? That foot rock. It's a foot rock. That foot rock. Wonder if it needs a tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going in the canyon, so it's gonna be a lot colder. Yeah. Hence I got a sandwich so I can put it in my pocket and keep my hand warm. Is that what you're doing in there? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Cafe Rio. Dude, it's fresh. I know. Sean's over here stealing Justin's lunch. He won't know until he watches this video. Oh, he knows. Oh, I can see knows. it. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Nothing, nothing oh. to see here. Oh, there's a bird over there. See, if you don't do what Sean's doing right now, while you're scouting, you're not doing it right. I'm here to tell you. You gotta do the like flying eagle pose. Uh, whoa, dude. Whoa. <laughs> what in the what happened? What? What? <laughs> you mad?